We return to the Mega Driving Club to take a look at the sequel to Taito Copaganda classic Chase HQ. That's right, it's time to join the special criminal investigation on Master System. Special Criminal Investigation, or SCI as it will be known for the rest of this video, is a sequel to Taito's Police Em Up Chase HQ. The game originally released in arcades in 1989 and was later ported to the Mars system by Natsume in 1992. The action is incredibly similar in scope to the original game. Drive as fast as you can using a limited amount of boosts before the time limit depletes. Catch up to the target vehicle that has been outlined in the stage introduction and then it's up to you to incapacitate the vehicle and arrest those inside. In the original Chase HQ you had to ram the target vehicles until they catch fire, but SCI mixes up the action somewhat by focusing more on gunplay. You now have infinite handgun ammo to take out the target, but you may also need to shoot back at other vehicles on your way to the target as the various drivers of this world will try to ram you and throw Molotov cocktails at you. And rightfully so, you filthy cop! With a limited two button controller set up, the game puts boosting on one button and firing on the other, and you actually have to hold up to accelerate. This isn't the most comfortable solution, but I guess a workaround had to be figured out with such heavy controller limitations. It's really not all that uncomfortable when you get used to it, and I'd say an equivalent like Rad Racer on the NES actually has a way more uncomfortable hold up for speed mechanic than SCI. Although granted that's just used for boosting and not accelerating. There are some other differences to this title versus Chase HQ, which help differentiate it. Two-way traffic has been introduced, making the action feel a lot more frantic as you desperately weave in and out of traffic to get to your target as quick as possible. The stages are actually remarkably varied with constant changes to the road layouts and lots of different roadside hazards to worry about. You even get multiple transitions into tunnels and different locales. It's really impressive how the game makes you feel like you're on a real journey and travelling through lots of different locations. I'm a big fan of this area in particular that has roadside water that you can fall into, but also these cool little waves that crash into the side of the road and spray sea mist into the air. This is the sort of graphical detail you wouldn't expect from an 8-bit driving game. The gunplay does also get a minor mix-up when part way through every stage a helicopter flies low and drops off a bazooka with limited ammunition that you'll want to save for your target, as it can deliver some devastating damage. At the end of the day, SCI just feels like Chase HQ with some minor changes that mix up the action somewhat. I actually prefer the change to gunplay for taking down enemies as it just feels a little bit more sensible than ramming the vehicles and potentially doing more damage to your own car. I think the varied stages and their constantly changing environments are really quite impressive to behold when it comes to Master System games, and it just makes the game feel a lot more intense which is what you want from a series that's all about chasing criminals. SCI is honestly one of the Master System's best arcade ports, and it's incredible how much of the original version has made it across to Sega's 8-bit wonder, with very little lost in the gameplay department. Sure, it's not as visually impressive as the arcade game, but it moves at a decent clip with the responsive controls and all its gimmicks in tow, which is honestly a bit of a miracle.